Hi guys, let's learn how to install Examp Control Panel on Mac. Let's first search Examp Download in the new tab. Click on the first result. Here scroll down and we will get here Examp for Mac. We will download it for the latest PHP version, so let's click on that download button. It will take us to a new screen and if the Examp download hasn't started, click on the Click Here text and it will start the download for you. The download is started and in a few seconds download will complete depending upon your internet speed. When the download completes, we will start with the installation process. So let's double click for installation, then double click on package installer. If you are facing this issue of not opening package files, let's fix it from the privacy setting. So let's search for privacy and settings. And here in the security tab, you will see that package name. We can click on anyway button so it can allow it to install. You have to enter password for giving permission to install. After giving the permission, the installation process would start fine. Let's move forward with the next button. On this screen, nothing needs to be changed, so let's move forward with the next button. Here it will show you the installation directory. We can't select some other. So let's move forward with the next button. Then again, press the next button to start the unpacking files process. It will take some time to complete. After the unpacking files are completed, we will launch the exam control panel and this screen will appear from where you can open PHP My Admin. But we need to start there, server and database. So let's open the Manage Server tab. The Apache web server will be already running when you install it the first time, and you can start the database from there. When it turns green from red, then the database will start successfully. Now, if we check PHP admin, then it would be working fine. Here we can create a new database, so let's provide a database name and create one. Then we can open the application folder, and from there we can open the htdocs directory where we can add site folders to run our site on the local host.